Hello everybody. Today you're going to learn how to create a new user, a new role and configure this role inside your sweet CRM system. My name is Bastian Hammer, your go-to expert when it comes to all things CRM, e-commerce, marketing automation and sales integration. Okay, so let's go. So, I assume you've got your sweet CRM system up and running and you're currently in the process of getting your team into the CRM system to start working on it. And naturally in your company you might have different roles and in those different roles maybe you want to define what those roles can do, can see inside the CRM system. For this purpose the CRM system has quite a neat feature of roles and security groups and users and the configuration of everything. Today we are going to look into the roles and into the users and how to create and edit those. Then let's start with the roles. You would do this from the admin area. So I'll open up the admin panel here and as you can see users and authentication there's a quite a lot here, so let's start with the role management. If you first install your CRM system, this is completely empty, so CRM is very, very open, so everybody has got the same role and can do almost everything. There's just a, um, usually a user is being distinguished. Is it a standard user or an administrative user? But other than that, there are no roles to drill permissions down on on a module basis for instance and that's exactly what we want to do now here so here in order to create a new role we would simply click on new and now let's imagine for your sales process you've got one specific role maybe it's like a like a temp person who's coming in once in a while or like a contractor and this person should still be able to log in and should generate leads for you that goes maybe by by researching data or whatever however your process looks like but this person should basically enter leads into the CRM system maybe change the own mistakes but don't edit or do something more with the data which which exists already inside the leads module or inside any other module let's call the role lead generation so it's quite a minor role or a junior role for somebody who is um, not not too involved into the whole crm system and now you got in the rows the different uh, the different modules which you can grant access to or um, or permit or like like restrict the access and here what we want to do is basically, or the easiest thing what you can do here is if you click on access on the very first column of your permissions, double click it and you disable everything. And then you click somewhere else and it will simply um, use your configuration, the disabled setting for, for all the modules and all the configurations which are available. So, but there's only one which we want to keep available, which is the leads one. So all other modules should not be enabled, should not be visible, not be accessible. And now on the module basis, you can go into further details of what the person should be able to do in case um, this person is now working inside the leads module. So let's say delete, it's a bit questionable so I assume usually to delete something you have to make a like a big mistake and you maybe like a duplicate you know you click like two times on save for whichever reason and then you want to delete it in order to get rid of your mistake. If you want to grant it or not let's say in this case no we don't want this because in case somebody makes a mistake of accidentally pressing on, on the button two times then this person can just let me know and i will do it but editing yeah of course just in case there's a typo or whatever 
this person should be able to edit all the leads that she or he created by him or herself. Therefore, I would say owner is the right one. So I'm the owner of a lead in the first place before it gets reassigned to somebody else. And in this case, I'm still allowed to make any uh, minor edits or changes in like typo and so on. Should this person be able to export the data? No, not as well, because this person is not responsible for exporting and, and working with data in Excel sheets, but only in importing maybe or entering the data. So therefore, no, no export permission. The opposite is true of an import. So here I would say, if you want to work in Excel, it's probably faster. So yes, build up your structure and your data in Excel. And at the end of the day, you can simply import it into the CRM system. So list view, on, uh, list view is, um, is an interesting one. We'll get back to this later on. Then mass update. It will help if you need to configure something just in the same way for a couple of records. It's seldom being used if you do like standard data entry. Um, usually I use it for data migration or if there's a new data, new fields available that you want to fill and then you can do mass import or mass updates. Well, I would say it for, to, for now to none. So now view. So I want to have this person being able to look at the own records, of course, because after saving one record, you've got the list view or like the, you got the, the detail view, sorry. And then you will just have an overview. Is everything correct? So it's like a quick double check. So and therefore, yes, this person should be able to check all the leads where she or he is the owner. And now back to the list view. So in order to avoid duplicates, this person, before entering a new new record inside the CRM system, um, she should just do a quick search on maybe the zip code or the email address or something. And if we configure owner now here, this person is not able to see all the other leads, only the, the leads which are assigned to this person. And therefore here it might be a good idea to grant the permission of the list view like all simply because you can still use the filters and check in the filters is somebody in this postal code area with this email address already available or already inside the CM and if not then I can add it. So it's a little bit of um, yeah having or producing cleaner data. One more setting that we didn't see now is the group one and we'll get to this in the security groups video. Check this one out as well. So here would be if you have like different sales group, for instance, East and West or whatever, and then it will be on group basis where you can have or configure visibility. That's fine. That looks good to me. And I click, uh, click on save. And now I've saved this role here. Let's see the role overview. And as you can see, lead generation is here very well. So this is exactly what we have now as our new role. Now we want to add a new user. And I will just go through it quickly. Um, it's in the user management. And here you can create a new user additional to the ones that you have already. And click on new. If you want to go into the details of what to do with the new users, with the profiles and everything, I'll check out my video on the Suite CRM and creating and working with users, user management. Here, in order to make it simple, lead gen, I just call this person lead gen, first and last name. Of course, you can add the first and last name, however it fits. And Status is active and that's what I mentioned before. So here you can decide, is it a regular user or an administrator user? In this case, it's just a standard user. Password, I would paste the same as well and simply save the user. Now I get a pop-up. The pop-up asks me for the security group, which 
we haven't configured so far. So look into the security groups video for this one in order to check it out what you need to add here, what you can do with those. But what I want to do is I want to add a role. So I open the sub panel of the roles and now I need to link or select the existing role that we just created and then the generation. Okay, here that's the right one. I click on it and it will be directly associated with this user. So now, now I want to figure out whether it's correct or whether it looks good. And therefore I would go into another browser and log in and see what we can see there and maybe compare it with the admin user inside our sweet CRM system. So lead gen, password and username. You will do a better job than me here. So you will have usually like passwords and maybe after the first login, your user needs to change them or something. Um, take care of take care of security here. So we get an error occurred. Uh, that's simply because there are a couple of different um, dashboards here a couple of different dashlets here on the dashboard per default. So if you want to make it more smooth, you would usually log in and then configure everything for your for your lead gen user or for your new user role that you're creating in order to, to log in and not see a problem in the very first place. Um, but it's fine so far. So you could just remove all the other um, all the other um, dash lets and then um, this arrow will not show up here anymore. But as you can see, like compared to my uh, to my admin user, there are way fewer options here. So we don't have like contacts, accounts and everything, opportunities. We've only got the leads module. So in the leads module is um, showing me the list as correct. So as it is, it's um, listed for the for the admin user as well. And now if I want to click, for instance, on one of those users here, and then I would say like, okay, you're not authorized to view this page, please contact your system administrator. And this is correct as well, because we configured that the list view is possible to see. So I can list, I can check for, let's say the, the postal code and see whether there's um, like a duplicate, if not, then I can now click on create and I would add my last one and then yeah, whichever and I save this record here. So I can create new ones. I can check the detail view because I am the owner here. See assigned to and if I go back to lead gen um, to the lead list, see there is a problem with uh, with the graphical user interface so far, but I'm pretty sure that they're working on it and it will get better sooner or later. So now I can filter and search for the user. Uh, you see it's not that easy and therefore I would just sign, uh, search for the right user here. Lead gen, that's my user. So I search with this filter functionality and now you can see this is in the list view, which I am able to see. And here I'm able to click on it as well and even open it because I've got access to the, um, to the detail view. This is a bit irritating. Hopefully it's being taken care of sooner or later, but overall the permissions are working neatly. You can configure it according to your yeah, business requirements and you can make sure that you don't grant too much permission and not too little permission. Otherwise, the administration will be quite difficult in the sense of um, somebody is making a mistake and for every single update or deleting a record, she or he has to contact you and you have to take care of this then. So try to build out a good documentation for this, a very logical system where you think it makes sense. This is what the people are supposed to see, what the people are supposed to be doing, and then configure the roles and the users accordingly inside your sweet CRM system so that it simply matches a smooth, a smooth process in your business operations. Okay, let's quickly recap. 
we have seen how to create a role inside your Suite CRM system. For this role, we did a couple of configurations and looked into the settings for each and every single permission inside one particular module. Then we have created a user and we have associated this user with the dedicated role and we have tested the user or the login inside another browser as well to make sure that all the role configuration is working as we anticipated it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.